Hello everyone, welcome to another Mr. CFT simulation and today we're going to simulate a helical wind turbine and we're going to do it using ANSYS Fluent software. Let's go. By clicking on the subscribe button, you will be informed about the newest CFT training videos by Mr. CFT. Or if you are watching the training video, click on the Mr. CFT logo and subscribe. If display mesh button is selected, the Fluent software allows us to display each surface of our computational domain individually. And also, there are various options given for us to select the colors, to observe the edge of the mesh, and even our mesh nodes, if such needed, arise. Also, important setups such as solver type must be selected in the general tab. While pressure-based solvers are usually employed for most CFT simulations, the density-based solvers could be selected if a compressible gas with a Mach number above 2 is the objective of the study. Also, the user must specify if the simulation is steady state or transient. Finally, it has been allowed to select the gravitational acceleration and specify both value and direction in the general tab for the user to complete. However, the user could change the gravitational acceleration in the operation tab inside the boundary condition section. So for a variety of aerodynamic simulations, what happens in the real world physics is an incompressible isothermal fluid flow with a turbulent nature. And in order to implement this in our computational software, what we are going to do is to go to viscous tab and select an appropriate turbulence model. Afterwards, we're going to select a material that represents the material in our domain and then we're going to continue the simulation. But as you go through the, these menus, what you're going to see is that there are a variety of turbulence modeloid for our problem. These models have been sorted out from low accuracy to extremely high accuracy models. Regarding the low accuracy models, such as parallel Almeyer's model, which solves only one equation to represent the turbulency of the flow, to the LES simulation that solves large eddies inside the problem. But again, how could we choose an appropriate turbulence model? So for aerodynamic problems, it has been found that K epsilon models are going to act poorly close to the walls. Also, high accurate models such as LES, DES, and even SAS models are going to cost us huge computational load since they require intensive amounts of mesh. In this regard, the two appropriate models that has been used in aerodynamic applications are the spallot Almeras and K-Omega family of models. However, it has been found that Sparrow Almaris model might lead to overestimation of turbulence production close to the walls and again acts poorly for high strain flows. So, Sparrow Almaris model could be used for initial stage of solution in order to improve the convergence. However, it could not be employed as the primary model to calculate fluid flow results. So, what we are going to stick with is the K Omega models. However, inside the K-Omega family of models, it has been found that SSD K-Omega or SSD variation known as shear stress transport is the most efficient model for calculating both near wall effects and the core flow effect. And for this reason, we're going to stick with the K-Omega SSD variation of K-Omega models. Also, ANSYS Fluent offers variety of remedies such as production limiters in order to improve the model's performance if the situation required and for the cases that a valid experimental values exist the user could also go through and change the model coefficients in order to capture the best performance of K-Omega SSD and other models inside the ANSYS Fluent. So as a summary we're going to select K Omega SSD for this problem and since isothermal condition has been considered no further variation and remedy has been involved. 
However, if we had experimental values, we could have used the model's coefficient and altered them to fit the CFT results with the experimental values. So that is all and I hope you've enjoyed this simulation and understand the basis of the aerodynamic and turbo machinery simulations. To further simplify the setups, a brief guideline of the settings that we've been through in this study is presented in the below table and I hope you could and I hope you would recreate this geometry or the simplified version of this geometry and carry out the simulation that has been discussed here and have an awesome CFD experience. Thank you for your attention and good luck. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services such as training, consultation, or simulation, you can always come at infohatsignmrcfd.com and contact our expert. Thank you and good luck.